Hey everybody, it's Pastor Aaron and welcome to our first ever Hangout for Hope, a Wednesday service about 15 minutes long. It's designed to be a uh, kind of caffeine jolt to your spirituality, to your soul, to help you get through the week um, with a short devotion, a couple songs, and a prayer. So today uh, I hope that you can take some time, surrender these next 15 minutes to God. Go ahead. Just surrender it. Whatever happened in the past is in the past. Let it go for right now. Whatever is going to happen after this time, this hangout for hope, after this time together, whatever it's going to be, trust me, it's going to be there anyway. Just let it go for right now. Spend this time with God. Surrender this time to God. In fact, I'll, I'll help you out. Um, let's, let's just start off with something that's very, very easy. Let's just breathe. All right, so take this moment, breathe in for six counts, breathe out for 10. Let's do that again. Breathe in for six counts. Breathe out for 10. Doesn't that feel better? This is going to be a wonderful time together. We have, uh, and hang out for hopes, since this is the first one, I'll, I'll let you know, we are going to have special guests. It's not going to be me talking all the time. We're going to have special guests uh, doing music, special guests giving us devotions, and uh, and leading us. So it's going to be a, a really a kind of a, a variety show of devotions. Um, and uh, we've got a great lineup ready to go for you, especially tonight. This lady who is going to give us our devotions tonight, um, that she is um, someone I look to uh, for, for great spiritual care. She is someone who I look to uh, to bounce ideas off of and to see if I'm on base or off base. Um, she is uh, in a great personal relationship with God and with the church. And her name is Marcy Lane. She's my wife. And she has a wonderful, wonderful um, devotion based on the word surrender. So tonight we're going to hear from her. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and we're going to start off our time with a song from the director of Congregational Relations and the director of Camp Luther for Lutheran Outdoor Ministries in Ohio. You know her as Jenny Franz. I know her as one of my great good friends, and she has a great song for us.
Thanks, Jenny, for that song. Boy, that's something I can really um, <clears throat> clap along with. Wow. We better get to prayer. Let's pray. Ready, set, pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for what has been. Thank you for what is to come. Thank you for your love, your constant presence, your healing, your hope that you give us. Lord, we know that we have hope in you, and hope does not disappoint us. So thank you for that hope. Uh, please be with us now. Please be with Marcy as she leads us in devotion on the topic of surrender. And uh, Lord, everything, uh, as you surrendered everything for us so that we could have salvation, you surrendered everything for us so that we could have a, an eternal relationship. Help us now to surrender this time to you. We ask and pray it all in Jesus' name. Amen. And now without further ado, here's Marcy Lane. The theme for today is surrender. When you think of the word surrender, what comes to your mind? When I think of surrender, I think of a battle that I have lost and I have to wave the white flag. And I have this flag and I've had it in front of my vanity, um, sitting on my vanity. In fact, I think you can even see a little toothpaste there, yep. Um, to remind me that when um, I start my morning and I'm getting ready that I need to let God handle everything and not take control over it myself because with God um, the trust and the faith that comes from him makes everything easier. So today our verses that we're going to um, focus on with the word surrender come from Job. Now if you haven't read Job, I highly recommend it. Um, and then if you have read Job, definitely do it again because it definitely talks about surrendering to God and His will and His love among your trials and temptations and coming out successful on the other side. So it says, the very first word is surrender. And that is, surrender your heart to God, turn to Him in prayer, and give up your sins, even those you do in secret. Then you won't be ashamed. You will be confident and fearless. Your troubles will go away like water under a bridge, and your darkest night will be brighter than noon. You will rest safe and secure, filled with hope, and emptied of worry. The Bible says in 1 John 4, 18, where God's love is, there is no fear because God's perfect love dries out fear. So how do we learn to live in God's love so that you can live free of fear? Now fear in this time is kind of a, a catchphrase, if you will, because of all that we're going through in this world. And some people are succumbing to fear, and some people are refusing fear. And we can cast out fear because we have God's love, if we surrender with our white flag. Well, how do we do this? That was my question, right? When you get up in the morning, before you even drag yourself out of bed, say good morning to God. And when you do, ask Him, to take your day 
and take it to the fullest. Give it to him and ask him to do his will. When you do that and you give control over to him, then you will see and feel things a whole new way. Like it said in Job, the, um, your darkest day will turn into brighter than noon. Just think about the sun when you go outside and it's so bright you have to shield yourself from the sun because it's just that overpowering. That's how God's light and love is when you surrender to him. So back, looking back at Job and breaking it down a little bit, we can find three commands and eight promises just in these verses. God says that if you do this, then he'll do that. Every promise has a premise. First, he gives you the commands. Surrender to your heart to God every day. So even when we go to bed at night and we think, oh my, I had an awesome day with God and he was so good. Don't think, okay, I've got it down. I'm going to move on. And God's always going to be with me. Because if you don't connect with God on a daily basis, then you will find yourself farther away from him. Even though he's always there, um, you ha have to connect and bring that relationship in to really feel God's presence. And sometimes even when you're praying to God, you might not always feel his presence, but that doesn't mean he's not there. Um, and then also turn to him in prayer, just like I said, and give up your sins or confess your sins to God. So if something's on your heart and on your mind, and it's bringing you away from God, and it, maybe it's anger, or it's um, resent, or sadness, or bitterness of a, another relationship in your life, come to Him and ask Him to remove it, because you can't do it yourself. If you try to do it yourself, it'll probably return. So the benefits, the eight benefits, we um, should not be ashamed. You'll be confident, you'll be fearless. Imagine being fearless. Your troubles will be like water under the bridge. The dark night you are going through is going to be brighter than noon. Again, how exciting that is. Um, the, the sun is just such a blessing because you see all the different colors of it if you're up early enough to see that sunrise. And then as I'm speaking right now, the sun is setting and I can see out the door all the different colors that God shows us to remind us of the hopes and promises that he's made. You'll be able to sleep well because you are safe and secure. You will be filled with hope and you'll be emptied of worry. Wow, who wouldn't want to experience these benefits, right? You ought to write that scripture on your, an index card or put it somewhere where you're going to see it every day. And that will remind you to do those three things. Surrender your heart to God, turn to Him in prayer, and confess your sins. So that God's love will fill your life and cast out all your anxiety and fear. So this week, remember God's hope and remember to surrender to Him.
And now, my friends, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound in hope. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hope to see you next week, if not before then. God bless you. And remember to take care and to give care. In the name of the one from whom all blessings flow.